Well, greetings, everybody. This is Pastor Alan Baggett, <clears throat> and I am out on the road today. And if I wanted to take uh, working with my son, but I want to take a minute to uh, give you your word of encouragement today. I think you actually see him in the background doing a little work. <laughs> and uh, but we're out and about taking care of uh, some stuff that we got to get done. But I want to give you a word of encouragement today. And uh, if you missed yesterday's service, I'm, it's just a powerful, powerful message. And I encourage you to jump onto YouTube or the Facebook and try to catch that. Uh, it's talking about being alienated from the Father. Just a powerful, powerful word. But today... I want to bring you something that will encourage you and give you strength through your day. And that is in Psalms 56, verse 3. The Bible says, I will put my trust in you. Now, that's just a short part of that passage. But I just want to use that right now as a, as a, as a basis. So, I will put my trust in you. Let me ask you. I mean, I mean, honestly, let's take a look at ourselves. Do we really put our trust in the Lord? Or do we just believe in God and uh, believe that he cares for us and everything else? But we got to, but uh, as far as trusting him, oh, I don't know about that. But hey, good morning, Alicia. I can barely see the stuff. So I can, I think Blake's on. I see Miss Alicia on. Uh, from where I'm sitting right now, the way the sun is, I can't see the icons. But, so do we really trust the Lord? I mean, it's one thing to say, oh, I believe in God, and uh, I believe God loves me. But do I trust Him? You know, you can love somebody and not trust them. You can be in relationship with somebody and not trust them. Trust is a big deal. I had an Indian friend of mine kill a spider there, guys. I have an Indian friend of mine back in the day when, uh, gosh, I guess it would be the 90s, back uh, when I used to go in the Lakota and the Dakota and the Bloods, not the Bloods, but the Blackfeet or the Blackfoot up in... Um, uh, in South Dakota, North, uh, South and North Dakota, and up around Montana and the Canadian border, um, we uh, they told me a story. And if you've been in my ministry any time at all, you've probably already heard this. But for those that haven't, the guy told me, he said, "You know what? Uh, one of the chiefs sat me down and said, here's the deal: if you want to reach these people, they have to trust you.'" You just can't talk to them. You just can't uh, give them stuff or or help them out. You have they have to trust you. <coughs> and the thing about trust is, it comes with a price tag, and the price tag is your life. The price tag is your life. When trust is broken, it is hard. It is difficult to get back. So. Let me ask you, I know you believe in God, and I know you probably love God, and you have faith even, and uh, and you're trying to live the right life, but do you actually trust Him? You see, placing our trust, and another word for trust is confidence, placing our trust and confidence in the Lord is a privilege that God is uh stretched out to each and every one of us when we're trusting him not just believing not just going through the, the religious motions but when we trust him and have trust in him he becomes our refuge he becomes our refuge trusting God completely places us on a foundation a foundation of strength, a foundation of stability. When we have trust in God in all of our situations, 
he becomes our safe place. And I know many of us need that safe place. Amen. We need to have trust in our Heavenly Father. So my question for you today is real simple. Because i got to get back out here. You see Chaston working. i got to get out here and, and, uh, and help him here. But I wanted to make sure I got this word out today. Listen. I know you believe him. I know you I believe in him. And I know you love him. But today, I want you to take a step in your thought process and in your prayer. And take a step out to trust him. In your circumstance, in your in your in your circumstances, in your body, in your circumstances, in your relationships, in your interpersonal things at work, in your in your finances, put your trust in God. Give it over to God. Lay it over to God. If we really trust Him, then we'll really give it to Him. If we really trust Him, we'll quit trying to do it by ourselves and quit trying to do it in and of ourselves. That's my biggest problem. I try to do it in and of myself. So that's my so today. Just do me a favor. Find time to sit down and evaluate yourself. This is not about you believing in God. This is not about you loving your heavenly Father. It's not about you uh, being a child of child of the King. Do you trust him? Even when things don't look like they're going the way they should go. Do you still trust him? Even though you don't see an outcome that you would like to see. Do you still trust him? That's a big deal. And when we get to the trust. When we get to the trust. That's when he becomes our refuge. When we can get to complete trust. That's when we find stability. And we find strength. To get through the day. So today. You need to find your trust point. And I'm telling you, I'm just like everybody else. I have my days and I have my and my issues. Hey, I see that Tim jumped on, Nelly jumped on, Blake Goff jumped on. Good to see you guys. So I have my issues too. But put your trust in him. It is so easy not to. It's so easy to just do it yourself. Put your trust in him him put your trust in the father let him be your refuge let him be your strength let him be your stability let 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 your trust in christ your trust in your heavenly father let that be your safe place that you run to i know you love him I know you believe and I know you're trying but trust transcends love transcends belief and transcends effort because I can try and still not trust you I can I can uh, love you and still not trust you I can believe you and believe in you, but still not trust you. So we had to have this trust in our Heavenly Father. This actually can go to all kinds of areas in our life. Good morning, Dave. Good to see you from all the way up from Las Vegas. So I know you love him. I know you believe him, believe in him, and I know you're trying, but do you trust in him? And that's the big question I want you to get into your spirit and your heart today. Do you trust in Him? Do you trust in Him? And and that and that becomes the big issue. And, and, and we all deal with that. Amen? I deal with it. I deal with it. We all deal with it. So as you go through the day today, I got comments coming up, but I can't, where the camera is right now, I can't, I can't read them. Uh, I can't read them. So, so if I don't respond to you, uh, it's because I just can't see it right now. <clears throat> but let but but put your trust in your heavenly Father. Amen. Believe in Him. Love Him. Do the best that you can. But trust Him. Lay your burdens down. Lay those relationships down at His feet. Lay those financial situations down at His feet. Lay. Lay your, lay your physical 
limitations down at his feet and give yourself completely to your heavenly father and trust him that he knows what he's doing and he knows what's best for you as you begin to do that a way to lift off your shoulders a peace will enter into your spirit a joy will spring up in your heart contentment will begin to level out all your anxieties and level out all the other things give it over to the Lord <clears throat> trust him amen let me say a quick prayer with you I see Chas and mowing in the background and um, uh, I need to get the weed here cranked up or he's gonna be coming here and want to know what I'm doing but but uh, God bless you guys let me pray with you father right now in the name of Jesus father I know the I know we love you and I know that we believe in you and I, I <clears throat> we know that we're trying our best but father help us to have that trust in you father that trust in you that causes you to become our refuge that causes you to become our safe place that that gives us strength father that gives us stability in our situations so we just ask for, i just ask father right now that you rise up and those that are listening right now live those that are going to be listening on replay those that are going to pick it up on youtube and those that will even pick it up later on uh, later on in a, a whole nother time period father they'll pick this up father speak to them right now that, that your spirit will rise up inside of them and they'll have that ability to put their trust in you. And we just speak it forth now, Father, in the name of Jesus and agree as this fellowship of believers here today. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a good word. I know you love him. I know you believe in him. I know you're trying. But now we need to trust him. Amen. Listen, share this. Tag it, send it to somebody. Share it, tag it, send it to somebody. When I get back this evening, I will put it up on YouTube, and it'll be available on YouTube, and you can send it out any, any you can take that link from YouTube link and send it out anywhere, uh, any format, any way, and uh, people will get to it. Please, uh, if you get to YouTube, I'm encouraging everybody to get to YouTube, uh, uh, subscribe to the page, because I need more subscribers on the page. I got a lot of people watching, but I need more people to subscribe to the page. And, and as we're doing these things right here, uh, hit those hearts, hit those different things like that, because it r raises up our algorithm. And there's some things I'm trying to accomplish that I need help with. I just need to raise my algorithms up a little bit so we can get a, a wider reach than what we're doing right now. God bless you guys. And uh, if you miss Sunday, catch it. Catch it on the... Uh, catch it on the youtube channel and it'll be great uh, it'll touch your heart i promise you it was just an emotional message and it will definitely speak to your heart and your spirit god bless you guys and i'll see you tomorrow with our next word of an encouragement until then walk in peace joy and contentment throughout your day and put your trust in him amen